you see it's all about like tweaking stuff now that you have the the overview the whole picture I can get that's that's how I work. I always need some 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 bigger picture to to put in my details. Um, so in the beginning, I work on a small portion of the track, maybe the drop, or it's it can be even the, the verse to create um, a general vibe. And then from that, I I evolve that the whole thing into like a full arrangement, and that happens very quickly. So even if it's very rough, I try to like copy paste stuff and to see what's going on and, and I have kind of a structure in front of myself so and, and, and then I know okay at this part I could maybe add this and this part uh, this and that. So you see um, once I had the full arrangement I realized that okay for the second verse I might need some some more stuff here and I, so I put in the strings and the strum section and also the transition um, to make this whole part um, a little bit different than the first verse and and it, it's, as I said before, it's still, it's constantly building up in the track. There's new element, elements coming in. The same for the um, second breakdown or for the, for the middle eight part, when it comes to the final build up. So we have a new guitar section here. I had like all these um, takes from, from my player, from John. And um, we recorded this. Plus, I added some rises here. Very nice. So, um, and it's different from from the first build up. So, still we are like having variations in the in, in the track. And then, and also the the marching snare we had before. Um, it was in, in in a different part of the track. I didn't use it in the beginning, but I. Just use it here now. It adds a little bit of... So it keeps the groove and it builds up into the final drop. <laughs> 